Tracy, uh, thanks for your message. You ask a good question. Um, the way you do it is, is um, in your notebook software, and hopefully you're using um, uh, your notebook software and have it up to date. Um, all of that stuff lives in this gallery over here on the left, this gallery tab. Um, there should be some activities and some other stuff. You can also get to the Smart Exchange from here. Um, but basically, you can either dig into that Gallery Essentials folder. And I believe if I go to, um, if I'm looking for graph papers, I'll go to Math and General Resources. And there's paper backgrounds there. So I can do pictures, and there's all the different um, types of grids I can bring up. And if I want to use that, I can just drag and drop that over into my into my notebook. Um, again, you know, you should know that the little guide down there on the on the right will allow you to um, make that whatever size you want on your board. Uh, if you want to do multiple pages, just click and say or hit, hit a new page here and you can bring in a diamond grid or um, undo that. Bring in just a regular old grid, just drag and drop it in and make it whatever size you want. Uh, you can also, if you don't want to dig around, you can also click up here at the top and do a search for a graph paper. And then it'll bring up the search results below. You just hit that little button there and graphing or paper backgrounds, either one of those folders you can go into and it'll show that same information. You can also bring in that other stuff. Uh, so I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you still have any questions. Yeah, and then if you wanted to you know, interact with that or, or write on top of it, obviously just switch back to your, um, to your pens there and pick a pen and start drawing away. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks so much.